Hi there, Gemini. So I'm going to be doing your reading right now, and I'd like to make a note that I also offer personal readings. So if you're interested, please check out the description box below. Also, if you plan on subscribing, make sure to hit the notification button. That way you'll get notified whenever I post my videos. All right, so I'm going to be doing the same format of past, present, and future. It's still going to be a love reading. So let's get started, okay? Let's get the past energy for Gemini, please. The past energy for Gemini. The Page of Swords, okay. Um, the Four of Pentacles. And the King of Swords in reverse, okay. Let's get the present energy for Gemini. It's the Eight of Swords in reverse with the High Priestess, okay. Two cards wanted to pop out. It's the Page of Pentacles in reverse and the Two of Wands, okay. Um, now the future energy. It's the magician. <laughs> you keep getting the magician, the queen of pentacles and the queen of swords. Oh boy, look at that. And now the overall is the 10 of pentacles. Well, Gemini, for the overall energy, I see something really positive here, okay? It's like it's talking about ab abundance and a happy family dynamic here. Um, and I feel like this is in store for you because I'm looking at the energy, at your energy, and it seems very positive here, okay? Um, so that's your energy for the overall Ten of Pentacles, okay? Now, for the past energy, it's the Page of Swords and the Four of Pentacles with the King of Swords in reverse. So I feel like um, you had clarity towards something. This could have been um, you wanting to learn something new with the Page of Swords, Um or you gained clarity towards a specific situation. And I feel with the Four of Pentacles, you could be, could, you know, be guarding your heart here or just being very cautious when it comes to your, 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 your um, heart space, okay? Uh, and I think it's from this King of Swords in reverse energy, right? Someone that um, possibly doesn't take much initiative. Um, you know, they're just, it's an action based card if it's in the upright, but it's showing up in reverse. Okay. So it seems like you were guarding your heart from this person. You gained clarity towards something or you learned something new and you felt very cautious, you know, uh, very protective over yourself with the four of pentacles, very protective over your energy. Okay. And then with the eight of swords in reverse, I feel like you didn't want to be stuck, right? Uh, in a, in a, in a, in a, difficult situation and so you were listening to your intuition here with the high priestess again talking about clarity uh the page of pentacles in reverse and the two of wands is talking about you having to make a choice um towards something uh and you're possibly listening to your intuition in regards to that but look at this uh the magician showed up again and i feel like you're an amazing manifester so you could be manifesting this ten of pentacles lifestyle you know you're coming across as being very loving and very nurturing um and <coughs> very confident and very sure of yourself with the queen of swords which is your energy right so you're <coughs> this is how people are viewing you as well as being very intelligent you could be being very logical in pursuit of the truth honesty um there's a sense of bravery here so look at that with the queen of swords the the king of swords in reverse um, is showing up for the person that you were dealing with, but you're showing up in the upright, right? So you're like a go-getter. You take action and initiative, okay? So let's clarify this Ten of Pentacles. I'm really loving your energy. You're very protective over your energy with the Four of Pentacles. You're really listening to your intuition here. You're manifesting great things for yourself. So let's clarify this Ten of Pentacles, okay? Okay, let's clarify this Ten of Pentacles. Ten of Pentacles. The Eight of Pentacles. So you could be um, throwing yourself into work, really being very dedicated. Um, and I feel like you're going to reap the benefits here. Uh, so if you're investing your time and effort into a connection... It's the, it's the same thing, right? It's, you're going to reap the benefits out of it. 
yeah, the page of swords in reverse, even if it may not seem clear, okay, like where something is heading, um, you're going to reap the benefits, okay? So whatever doubt you may have or confusion, um, yeah, there you go, the lovers. So it could be related to you investing your time and energy into a specific connection and possibly um, being somewhat confused if it's going to, you know, take off, right? Um, into this Ten of Pentacles, happy family dynamic. And it seems like it is going to end up being very positive. Um, you are going to reap the benefits. So from the Eight of Pentacles to the Ten of Pentacles here, right? Uh, so let's clarify this Page of Swords energy. The Seven of Cups. Okay, let's clarify. So you could have had a realization that you did in fact have options, Two of Pentacles in reverse, and that um, the Knight of Wands. Okay, so this is you gaining clarity and realizing that you do have a lot more options, okay? Um, and options that are better for you with the Seven of Cups, okay? Um, there's a sense of clarity here, okay, with the Seven of Cups to clarify the Page of Swords. Um, and I think you realize that you did not want um, anything that didn't bring in balance here with the Two of Pentacles in reverse, okay? Uh, and with the Knight of Wands, I feel like you're feeling very passionate about it. Like this is that, you know, you have so much more um, to experience here, okay, with the Knight of Wands. So I feel like you're very protective over your energy with the Four of Pentacles. So let's clarify that. You could be feeling really the Queen of Cups in reverse. You did take away your cup um, with the Queen of Cups in reverse. I feel like you um, Wheel of Fortune. So like I said, with the Seven of Cups, it seems like you realized that there was a lot more options for you and would um, would benefit you a lot more than this energy of the King of, you know, this person who lacks initiative here. Um, so I feel like you're very protective of your energy. And now with the Wheel of Fortune, I really feel like there's good fortune in store for you. Um, you did the right thing of pulling your, uh, your energy back. Uh, possibly taking your cup away here. And there we go. And then I'm, as I'm talking, the Nine of Pentacles shows up. So you did what was best for you, okay? Um, focusing on your independence, focusing on being very caring towards yourself. Um, okay, so this is my self-care card, independence. You really, really put um, um, the focus on yourself here. And you were hit with some sort of clarity that, you know, you had a lot more options that were much better for you, okay? Um, and I feel like you felt really passionate about that with the Knight of Wands here, okay? Um, so this is what, I, what I'm what i telling you. <laughs> Look at that, it's, it's someone that lacks initiative. The Knight of Pentacles in reverse with the King of Swords in reverse, okay? So this person possibly didn't offer you a commitment. There you go, the Empress. So you're coming across as this Empress, somebody that's very loving, very nurturing, very beautiful, right? You're standing in your power here. And this person did not know how to approach you in the right fashion, okay? Given the fact that you're coming across as this empress here, right? And with the four of swords in reverse, um, yeah, it, it just seems like um, it could have made you feel restless. You know what I'm saying? With the four of swords, there was not a sense of peace here. Like there was something about this energy, right? With the Four of Swords in reverse. I feel like it wasn't good for you. You could have... Some of you could have children. Or be expecting. So let's clarify the Eight of Swords in reverse. Some of you could be having trouble sleeping. <laughs> if you are pregnant. Or if, maybe not, right? But some of you could have that... I don't know why I'm getting that message. Here you go, the King of Pentacles. So here you could be dealing with someone that is, um, looks, this is, you have, this is a different energy with the King of Pentacles, okay? Um, the Queen of Wands and the Five of Wands. So you have someone that wants to offer you stability here with the King of Pentacles, or they're a much more stable energy, okay? 
and with the queen of wands you know you're coming across as very charming very attractive okay and this person does have a desire for you with the five of wands here okay um they're they're also going to offer you a sense of freedom meaning you're not going to feel like you're stuck or trapped or you're being controlled here okay with the eight of swords in reverse okay that's great so it's a very stable energy but let's look at this high priestess here the page of pentacles in reverse the hermit in reverse and the six of swords yeah so you're aware that you know it's time to move on from the past energy i think you've done enough introspective thinking here so it's the king of pentacles in reverse and now the page of pentacles in reverse i really feel like you're not really now i feel like you're detaching from this past energy okay um so let's clarify this page of again the page of pentacles in reverse the two of wands so i feel like um you could so I don't know if you're with this person as of yet, but it's up to you whether you want to take this person up on their offer here with the two of wands. So this is regarding a choice that you have to make, okay? Um, there's a possibility that this person does not want to be just friends, okay? They want something more here. And you have, there you go, the four of cups. So I feel like the past energy could be somewhat disappointed here. Um, and there you go, that you've walked away with the eight of cups. So you did make a choice here. Uh, so I'm wondering if the past energy did try to contact you somehow, um, wanting to, you know, like, start up again, but, or just, you know, some kind of friendly conversation, and you just made a choice, and it left this person disappointed, and you um, walked away. It seems like you did walk away from a specific energy here, yeah, with the hangman in reverse, yeah. You seem to have walked away. Um... So let's clarify the magician for the future energy. The high priestess again. Oh my God, look at you. <laughs> you have like some serious clarity going on here. Um, you could very well be feeling very enlightened. So it's the high priestess twice with the magician. So you're really wanting to manifest the best for yourself. The empress knows her worth, okay? So that's a wonderful energy. Yeah, Knight of Swords, very determined energy. This could be someone being very determined when it comes to you, but I feel like this is your energy, really determined to manifest great things for yourself. You're really listening to your intuition here. Um, okay, let's do that again. The Knight of Swords, the Knight of Swords. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> The Ten of Pentacles again. Well, you are manifesting this. I think you know what you deserve, okay? So there's an element of you knowing what you deserve, okay? And you're not going to settle for anything less than this this Ten of Pentacles, right? Um, and it seems like you're really manifesting this, this Ten of Pentacles of abundance, happy family dynamic. It just seems like you're manifesting it all here and you're very determined. And then I see the Queen of Pentacles here, right? So it's the King of Pentacles and the Queen of Pentacles both showing up in the upright. And then I see the King of Swords in reverse with the Queen of Swords in the upright. So um, you didn't lose your sense of self here. So there is someone that matches your energy. Um, okay. So somebody wants to offer you a commitment. Possibly. Yeah. And it's not. So there's no lies here. No deception. I feel like uh, you're not being deceptive towards yourself with the Seven of Swords in reverse. Seven of Pentacles in reverse, Seven of Pentacles, Seven of Swords in reverse, Seven of Pentacles in reverse. I think you have a confidence in you that you're not going to invest your time and energy in anything that you don't reap the benefits from, okay? With the Seven of Pentacles. I think you're not lying to yourself. I think you're being very honest with yourself with the High Priestess showing up twice. So there's a very, and the Queen of Swords, right? The Magician. Oh boy, uh, Gemini, I'm really loving your energy. What are you doing? I want your energy. I really want your energy here. The Ten of Pentacles twice, the Magician twice, the the Queen of Pentacles, the Queen of Swords. Um, just, are you, you're in just this wonderful place. You're not lying to yourself. You know what you, you're worth, right? You know where to put your energy in and where not to, right? So let's clarify this Queen of Swords. So you're being very honest here. 
Yep, three of wands in reverse. What's this right here? The devil in reverse. Yeah, like you're not, you're not going to rush into things if it's toxic, right? You're being very honest with yourself. But yeah, if it doesn't bring in balance. Oh boy, so this is what you want. You're very firm in what you believe in, okay? It's like you want stability, okay? You want balance. You want a firm foundation, the Ten of Pentacles. If it's not provided to you, you're not going to take it. If it comes with toxicity, you're not going to take it, okay? So you're not rushing towards anything, um, it, towards a connection where you're not sure, okay? With the Queen of Swords, this is interesting. You're manifesting great things for yourself and you're very determined, okay? Um, you have a sense of clarity here. But you also are aware of what you deserve, right? And what you're worth. So you're not lying to yourself. You're being very on honest. You're being very truthful. So if it brings, you know, if any of these things, if it brings in toxicity, if it brings in a lack of balance, if it doesn't bring stability, a foundation, you don't want it. And you're not going to rush into something unless you're hundred percent sure, right? Wow, Gemini, I'm really loving the reading. I'm really loving your energy. Um, this is amazing. And you don't wanna be stuck. I feel like you don't wanna be stuck. So you're taking your time here. So maybe this could be the energy with the Eight of Pentacles, right? Not being quite sure. So even though you do want this Ten of Pentacles, um, you're just, you're taking your time here and I think you're waiting. Uh, so you've invested, you know, your time into something, but you, you haven't gone all the way. So you're um, possibly, um, you know, you're in this, it just seems like you're not going to rush into something um, unless you're 100% sure, okay? In regards to specifically um, another connection. But if you're um, questioning whether you're investing your time into like an interest or into a career, right? Um, and you may not be able to see beyond a certain point, um, you're go it's going to pan out with the Ten of Pentacles, okay? So that's my reading for you, Gemini. I hope you got better insight into the situation that you're in. And I'll see you next time. I really love your energy. Take care.